This problem and all other practice problems for Calc 2 here at Rutgers can be found in Sarai Studies. A link is in the description box below. When doing U substitution, there's a step that a lot of professors skip, and that's going from U to DU. Now, instead of U is equal to 2X, let's say that Y is equal to 2X. If I want to find the derivative of Y, we know that we could say Y prime is equal to 2. Another way to write this is the derivative of the function y with respect to x because the variable is x. Now, keep that in mind. Ready? This is u is equal to 2x. To find the derivative of u, I could say u prime, that's 2. Or I could say the derivative of the function u with respect to the variable x because the terms of the function are x. Now, guess what I see over here? I see du. And if I want du, I could just solve for du by multiplying both sides by dx to get du by itself. And so I'm left with du is equal to 2 times dx. And so the in-between step is just finding du dx, we know that's 2, and then solving for du by multiplying both sides by dx, and you get your du. So if you have u is equal to 4x minus 2, you could say du is just the derivative of this, which is 4, and then add a dx, or whatever variable is in your problem. If it was t, it would be dt. Or the in-between step to get to du is to find du dx, the derivative, right, u prime. Just remember that this is another way to write u prime. The derivative of this is 4. And if you want du, then take this and solve for du by multiplying both sides by dx to get du by itself. And so we have that du is equal to 4 times dx.